Hi guys, it's Tony Hughes. Um, as promised, I said I'd send you something that you could have a look at. I'm trying to drill my way down to CPT. This is the programming tool for Sedona. And I'm interested in this controller. It's hanging on the end of a cable on my desk here now. Right, um, CPT is tree based. Um, you need to worry about the service folder. These are the bits and pieces of uh, software the kits that run the software not interested in that we're interested in what they call wire pages wire pages basically are the software pages just like you get in set um, and these are all the inputs and outputs and all the bits and pieces that are in software and if you double click on that it'll take you into the page looks exactly the same as trend or in this case actually it looks more like um, Honeywell to get around the page you don't need to zoom you can just move around the page like so um, you'll notice that also donor controllers have got universal inputs and universal outputs. This is UI1 and you can see it's coming in and you can tell straight away that is actually a 10k resistor, um, thermistor. And then when you, it's got the live data coming in there, you can see it's nine, 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 just over 9k. Stick a, a link on it and that will link it, delete the link I'll just show you. Uh, just take the output of that and put it into the input of that and then that will spring to life and that gives you the temperature out from the temperature there and into on this one on UI1 into a T-stat which is a basic thermostat uh, but if you look here you can see that there is all manner of um, software in there loops, uh, Legionella, curves, VT, all the rest of it and then the logic blocks themselves uh, you, you can go to that menu or you can actually go to this menu here which gives you all the ORs and the ANDs and digital switches, analog switches, one shot, uh, pulses and ramps and all the rest of it, anything you want to do to write software. Um, you'll notice that if you wanted to change the that UI, if you go into this, just click on it and the properties will pop up here and you can do OAT if you wanted to do and then the OAT will appear in there. Uh, these little nodules are nodule blocks that are connectives, just like um, trend use connectives uh, they use this little, little nodule block on to cross pages or cross controllers uh, peer to peer uh, Modbus uh, very very simple simplest Modbus I have ever uh, any dealings with um, once you've set up the Modbus itself the asynchronous um, tell it what the board rate is of all the units on the controller on the, on the Modbus line and that's a Pro Duel and if you, the Pro Duel is based exactly the same as the wiring page uh, built up like that um, the Northern Design meter, Hertz, model number um, and volts and it's quite simple you just click on one of these blocks, drag a block in and you can see the values in the block there and you can see that the address of this one is 2820 the address of the model number is 3584 and the address for volts is 2821 it's as easy as that that would normally take you about three minutes to set up a meter if you wanted all the data out of the meter take it a little bit longer but you can cut and paste um, I suppose everybody's really more interested in what's in here in the uh, graphics here's a drawing package the drawing package is quite simple uh, all the all the icons are here gas boosters action buttons labels duct work and all the rest of it. it's all in there for you to use you don't need to draw anything it's all been done for you you drag it drop it drop it on the on the page and do what you want with it. Um, this little flag arrow will take you into uh, the web browser itself so you can monitor things as you write in the pages and let's just go straight into the here this is the welcome page and you can see here um, there's a, a, a thermometer and if I think if I grip all the, the bead here you'll see it go up um, widgets they call them um, go into the air handling unit you just saw uh, on the way through and um, this is the air handling unit um, and you can see that uh, everything is dynamic including the dampers dampers are dynamic four positions to the dampers I've got a switch here on the unit I can stop the fans and start the fans or stop the pump and start the pump um, everything more or less everything on the drawing is dynamic um, let's go and have a look at the time schedules uh, very very simple the time schedules to operate um, the um, uh, you want to change the time on this one now tonight to um, turn it off completely uh, let's put it to 1800 hours because it's 
actually uh, 20 hundred hours now and um, if you wait long enough that little light there at the bottom which is on that um, circuit has gone off you can see um, now rooms and temperature set points adjustments and logs uh, you can make these automatic you can have one of these for every room if you want so you've got your room set point you've got your room temperature uh, you've got the valve I'll just increase that um, to 29 and you'll see that the valve will start to open um, they use PV by the way so obviously again equals 100 divided by PV and again um, and you can see now that the valve is started to open uh, this is a duct and uh, supply duct and air temperature sensor powerful logging one of the most powerful logging bits of kit I've ever seen in my life um, if you can imagine look at this month to date year to date last year phenomenal amount of lagging, uh, logging capacity for every sensor I've got two here and uh, you can see I asked for yesterday and of course that is dynamic as well so you can wander around um, if you go to requests you can dump the um, data that you're bringing into a CSV file. I've clicked the CSV, you can hardly, only just about see that, but if you notice down here, it started to go and get the CSV file out, and the CSV file will be here in a minute. It's only look at, looking at two sensors. There's the CSV file. Open the CSV file. A um, little bit of a bug there, it doesn't put, pull the data out, but just let's have a look at this temperature now, and just insert a, a graph, a line graph, and there we are. Um, you're in CSV and you can store that do what you want with that data and you can have as many lines of data as you want if you wanted to just get um, a web browser version of it so you can just have a quick look at it uh, you can just go to this request the data all it's doing is running strings you can see this string it's just running that string to get the request from the um, sql database and that's a typical thing that you see on your ipad that you could go down and have a look at the temperature what the stop stop and time start times were you know all right, I'll um, I'll see you again. Speak to you again about it. Bye.